before that, we have a little bit of a special report with Candace. So all winter long, you hear warnings about it feels like temperature out there or a wind chill. Yeah, obviously in the winter, you need to be prepared for it to feel like it's cold. But with that, it's even colder than what you actually see on the thermometer. But how does all of that work? We do have Candace here with us to explain it all. Good morning, Candace. Good morning. Today is one of those days where we talk about that wind chill. And it naturally, our body heat, it creates and generates a lot of heat. And then we lose that through convection. But then, of course, the wind comes into play. So whenever we have no wind and the actual temperature is, say, around 20 degrees, we still lose a little bit of that heat, but the overall temperature of our bodies still stays a little bit warmer and we end up still feeling like 20 degrees. Now, once we factor in the wind, that all changed. Say we put in winds at 20 mile per hour gust. What it does is it starts moving that air and breaking up that insulating warm layer around our bodies. And that's then what makes us feel like temperatures are colder. So that wind helps speeds up the process and makes that heat loss making 20 degrees feel like four degrees, say in this instance. So today we will have even colder temperatures in the teens feeling like the single digits, but it's a good reminder to keep with us all winter long of just how important those winter layers are during our colder months. For now in the studio, I'm Candace Monticelli, Fox 17 News.